In this video, I'm going to discuss every number in the birth chart from one to nine. To quickly recap, the top three boxes of the birth chart stands for the mental plane, the middle three boxes stands for the soul feeling plane, and the bottom three boxes stands for the physical plane. The one box is in the bottom left corner, and then you go up to two and three, and then you go back down to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And an example that I use, uh, the birthday, April 6th, April 6th, 1987. So you just put the one in the one box, the four in the four box, and so on and so forth, and that's when you're able to begin the numerology reading. If, if there's a certain number that you want to uh, understand, you can press pause. I'm going to put a, a lot of text here on the side for each number to make it easier to understand. And also I wanted to make this video as concise as possible. So starting with number one, number one stands for the self, the ego. It also stands for interactions with people and the world. So when someone has one one in their birth chart, it, that means that they're very introverted and that they're very good with their verbal skills. But the thing is, is that they're... they're they may find it difficult to express their personal feelings, how they really feel inside. And to the point for self-protection, they may want to uh, uh, say the exact opposite of what they really mean. Uh, just because they find it that difficult to really express how they really feel their heart feelings. Um, but when it comes to other things, like expressing things that they understand intellectually, they're very good with expressing those type of things verbally. Um, people with 1-1, one, one, the only thing they need to um, work on is just to think before you speak. So two ones in the birth chart stands for being communicative. And people with two ones can see both sides to everything. But the thing is, is that they may switch sides too. Three one stands for being talkative. Uh, they like to participate in many different activities. Uh, they, gen they generally like to enjoy life and spread that joy and laughter all around. Um, some are shy and quiet at first, but once they get to know you, they open up more. They are very, uh, they either have a really good sense of humor or they enjoy someone with a good sense of humor and they tend to laugh at a lot of things and genuinely enjoy life and laughter. Four ones on a birth chart stands for being compassionate. Um, they may be misunderstood because of difficulties with expressing their feelings, just like with the well, person with the one one on their birth chart. Uh, they know how to hide their pain with a smile and with words. Five ones in a birth chart uh, stands for being self-obsessed. Uh, they also have difficulty with expressing their feelings and they may obsess over how they look. Um, some may even have extra mirrors around their house so they can look at themselves more. Uh, so now going on to the number two. And uh, one was in the physical plane in the bottom box. So now we're going to go into the emotional, spiritual feeling plane in the middle of the box. And that's number two. And two uh, is, stands for feelings, intuition, sensitivity. So when someone has one, two in their birth chart, they're sensitive. Uh, to quickly, uh, one quick thing I just want to say is that women naturally have that intuition and sensitivity so uh it's kind of like they have that natural sort of two that two energy so when if you if you're a woman that already has a two in your birth chart that's kind of like having two twos so anyway so if someone has one two in their birth chart they're intuitive but may need more intuition when it comes to competitive environments two twos on a birth chart they're very bright they have a balanced intuitive sensitivity, under, understanding of people and situations, natural ability to read people at first impression, which is really a very good trait to have in life. Uh, may be drawn to multiple acti activities and causes, but they need to be careful with being overly available to people. Three twos are very sensitive. Excessive sensitivity to intuition may get too wrapped up in other people's drama. Some may bottle up their feelings in order to deal with their hypersensitivities and so may seem indifferent to things. And because of their sensitivity to intuition, they can portray characters accurately, can do well in entertainment. There's a lot of actors that, that have that many twos in their birth chart. Four twos um, are loners, easily influenced by the external world, impatient, em emotional. Emotions may cloud their judgment, need to learn self-control, be careful with being too isolated from people. So now going on to number three. Number three is the first number in the mental plane and it stands for, it's the ruler of memory. Uh, and one thing to mention is if somebody d does not have a three on their chart, it doesn't mean that they have necessarily a bad memory, but they just need to probably put forth a little bit more effort when it comes to using uh, 
that part of their, their mind, their memory. Uh, so one, three stands for being excellent. They have a good memory. They're mentally alert and active. They have a deep understanding of people and life. Their viewpoints toward life is usually optimistic and balanced and they come across as self-confident. Two threes are creative. They have an even more increased mental alertness, good imagination, and good at reading and writing. If it goes unchecked, their overactive over imagination may lead to antisocial behavior. Because the three is such a, it, it's in the mental plane, so the more three somebody has, it's like the more focus they have in their mind and their imagination, because it's that good. But the thing is, is that they need to get back into the now, and so they can interact with the world and other people. So three threes, over imaginative, more threes on the mental plane, very active mind and imagination may tend to worry too much about the future because of their overactive imagination, also may have trust issues and become introverted. So now number four, we're going back down to the physical plane in the middle box. Um, containment and consistency, practical and organized, no fours in a birth chart indicates impatience to certain things. One four, orderly. Involved in physical endeavors, organized and practical, likes to get things done, and patient with those that cause delay. Two fours, pragmatic. With so much emphasis on the physical plane, may need more of a balanced outlook upon the world. Need to focus on feelings and the mind. May need to be careful who they choose to be friends with if they do have an imbalanced world viewpoint. Three fours, hardworking. Same aspects as the double four, just more intensified, may keep working until they are physically exhausted, need to learn to let go of being too concerned about tidiness. So now we're going to the number five. The number five is going back into the emotional, spiritual, feeling plane in the middle. And the number five is the heart chakra of the birth chart. And the number five is attached to any other number in the birth chart, which, in, which means that if someone has a five in their birth, birth date, that means that there's no, all the other numbers are not going to be isolated or lonely, meaning that they're going to always be next to a certain number, which in this case is number five because it's right in the middle. It's connected to all the other numbers. So, like I said, it's a heart of the birth, the heart of the birth chart, connected to every other number on the birth chart, and free, and it stands for freedom of expression, love, and freedom. One five on a birth chart stands for being caring, emotional stability, can rely on their own sensitive intuition in order to think before they act instead of reacting to situations thoughtlessly, and they're compassionate with others. Two fives, very persistent. These people have a strong drive. You can see in their frowning, intense eyes. A lot of them have that kind of frowning, furrowed brow type of look. Um, they also may come across as overly confident and assertive because of their extreme determination. May have stomach issues like ulcers and indigestion. Indigestion. Three fives, determined. Same aspects as a double five but more intensified. They may be too much to handle for some people. Um, okay, so now number six. Number six is going back to the mental plane, and that stands for creativity and destruction. Number six is the middle box of the, of the mental plane. Uh, and one six stands for being a good advisor, uh, focus on domestic responsibilities, artistic abilities, and many different forms of self-expression. Two sixes, originative, with more focus on the home, may be over-anxious about their family, may need to learn how to relax and rest more often to bring balance in, into their life. Uh, number six is a very uh, home type of number of domestic responsibilities. So the more sixes someone has in their birth chart, the more emphasis they have in their, in their, in their family, in their home, the, the more they take it seriously. Sometimes they may take it to the, t to the point where they may become a little overprotective and over anxious. Um, three sixes, high tempered. With this many sixes, these people may be very overprotective over their family. Number seven, this is going back down to the physical plane. Stands for life lessons and sacrifice. One seven, learn through experience. May go through a disruption in the home. Any form of loss is meant to make this person stronger. Two sevens, spiritual, sacrifices in love, health, and money, but with the right mindset set, but with the right mindset, a deep philosophical outlook on life is possible. Three sevens, learn through loss. Significant loss in health, love, and money, but it seems insurmountable to those around the individual. So now going to the number eight, which is the emotional feeling plane. Uh, stands for wisdom and independence. Uh, one eight, scrupulous. In a positive mindset, they can be very meticulous and tidy, but in a negative mindset, they can be unstable with their emotions. So it can go either way with someone who just has that one eight. 
Um, two eights, they're very adamant, have an eye for attention to detail to the point where they may come across as too bossy. Three eights, materialistic, may tend to be pessimistic, great potential for wisdom and independence if they stay in a positive mindset. Number nine, this is, this is going back to the mental plane, stands for leadership, uh, leadership oriented, idealism, and universal and outlook. One nine, intelligent, capable of achieving goals, but need to watch for being too overzealous about it. Two nines, critical, deep thinker, make it overly critical, kind with words and actions, enjoy helping others, but need to be careful of being used. Three nines, givers, extremely ambitious to the point where it can get in the way of personal relationships. Little things can get blown out of proportion, can be stubborn until things are the way they want them to be. Four nines, brilliant. One type of person will try to conform to society but will become rebellious or hide from society by staying locked up inside their home or room. They don't like be people telling them what to do. The other type of person are even more intense to deal with, may be little others who disagree with them and may hold in, in a lot of anger. So that is uh, the numbers one through nine. Uh, so what you do is you just fill in the, the boxes and see how many numbers that they have. One f final thing I want to mention in this video is that um, I mentioned in a previous video about ruling numbers. If you add every single number in your birth date and keep adding it down to that one number, that is your ruling number. So if you already have, let's say, a three on your birth chart, if you were born on the third or let's say 1993 or in March, you have a three in your birth chart and your ruling number also is three, that means it's like having two threes. So you can go back and look at your threes. If you have one three, you can look at that, but you can also look at the two threes because that will also apply. So your ruling number also can apply to your birth chart reading.